I love all the colors of fall. And really, to come up to Sugawa Nursery in Woodland, Washington is no different. You know, Brian, this is just lovely. And you really selected a beautiful selection of plants for us to look at that are, have so much unique coloring to them. Yeah, fall's our favorite time of the year, actually. All our sales help, our customers, we all just wait for the the sign of fall to come and usually a little colder weather will kind of initiate a little more fall coloration yeah, but true. you can see there's a lot of things we picked out here for the for and, the people here. And behind you you have some hydrangeas and I think sometimes we forget about hydrangeas are beautiful for fall. That's the oak leaf hydrangea right there. It's commonly uh, it's not really used for the fall coloration. I think people really like the, the, the large what panicle of flower but it's the fall coloration that I think it just has so many uh, different colors to offer. Purples, reds, and I think that would be a nice plant right around four to six foot tall, deciduous, but it has a lot of uh, things to offer for uh, color impact for the fall. And I think the oak leaf can take a little more sun, so it's nice. It's, it's not just going to sit in the shade garden. It's going to be out in the sun with our other sun perennials and sun shrubs. That's right. Definitely more uh, sun tolerant, along with the one right in front of you there. That's Beautiful. a variety called tickled pink. It's Cute. the PG hydrangea family, but there's so many hydrangeas with so much to offer. That's actually a faded color that you get that mottled pink and white. It usually comes out white, really mm -hmm. a bright white, but then by fall it gets that initiation to give that uh, variation of the pink and white. Nice. And for maybe a larger shrub, this viburnum, it's going to get a little bit bigger, but beautiful for a backdrop. That's a good old-fashioned standby plant, six to eight foot tall, but it's uh, the flowers in right around May, I think it is, they come out in that flat, it's... Uh, commonly asked for they don't really know the name of it but it's described with the flat flowers white <laughs> right. but it actually looks a lot like a hydrangea but yes it's a double file viburnum beautiful beautiful and I think Sugawa's is really known for Japanese maples you have such a selection and you just pick two of them out here but really they're just starting a color yeah that's um, right in front of us right there that is going to be a nice it actually turns intense red fall coloration that's the fern leaf maple and it's actually a very broad kind of it's a different it's actually in the japonicum family so it Beautiful has a different foliage. yes nice foliage so it's kind of a japanese maple sister of but uh man you talk about fall coloration and it, that's one to definitely uh watch for because it's just intense with red and even the samaras are turning color which is another added interest that to it. is definitely another dual interest plant there um it's just, it's something that definitely, uh, if you're looking for fall coloration, keep your eyes on for that one. And this is a little bit smaller one, a smaller statured one, a totally different habit. That and really is. Nice for a container if we don't have a big expanse. You can see what, would you call it, pendulous branches mm -hmm. or weeping branches. So it'd be one beside the, the typical lace leaf maples. But what's nice about this, it's definitely just going to weep straight down. But the fall coloration, another one to watch for, it's, it's kind of new. This is a variety called Ryusin and um, it's kind of a rare type but i'd say in about another month you'll be seeing all its typical fall coloration i had to show that to you it's judy nice. though it's nice to nice to see this plant i come back on, on the well it's nice not everything turns right in the beginning of october i mean it's a long season we love to see fall color really the whole yeah, fall it is a long season <laughs> and uh, we're just waiting for a little colder temps and things will be a lot well you can see right behind you on the, the with some of that wow other. that is beautiful Look at that. That's a parodia, isn't That's it? That's a parodia as a bush form. That's usually you see that in a single stalk like a tree, mm -hmm. but we've offered that in a bush form for people that can't afford, or, or not afford, but uh, have the space for a large tree like the, the proteas do. So you can actually have that in a nice bush form. It is pretty. And then what is this one? There's so many burgundies on that plant. This is another viburnum. Basically, that is about the most showiest part of this flat plant is the fall coloration. The flowers are, it's Onondaga uh, viburnum, and uh, it's one we've had for forever, but it's the fall coloration that uh, usually will catch people's eye on that. I wanted to show that one too, because it's some, a color you don't really see too much. It's just now starting to come into there. And the Father Gilla is very nice. I think it's a different kind of a foliage because it has purple, and I think it's more of a true purple with that green, and it's a dwarf form. Right, What's, that's exactly right. The dwarf form is uh, three to four foot, kind of hard to find nice shrubs at three to four feet range. But it's a fall coloration. I wish it was here in another month, but when you see this, it usually uh, it's a showstopper. People will actually stop and try to figure out what it is, but it's, <laughs> it's the Father Gillow that's catching the eyes. And I love these planters that you have here with all the different conifers, because I think sometimes we don't want pansies, we don't want kale, and we want something totally right. different for our deck planters. Well, that's exactly right. You know, fall, I think, I love pansies, but uh, sometimes I think people are looking for more of a change for hardier plants for the winter come on in and 
uh, check out the, the hardiness of the, the dwarf conifers, the sedums, the succulents, and I think the pansies and the kales and the cabbages usually get kind of, they're, they're a lot softer. Yeah. So. Well, I think you have so much of a selection here. We can only have such a small you know, group of them right yeah. now, but really come up to Sugawa's in Woodland, Washington, talk to the great staff up here, and really bring some beauty to your fall garden. Yeah.